Hello and welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're going to be talking about Russia again. Right now, uh, Vladimir Putin is warning the West. He says, look, Russia does not depend on you and you will not hold us back. You see, uh, he's also said that Russia cannot be isolated. So when you look into those eyes, you peer into those blue eyes. Vladimir Putin looks like a man who is not afraid of what is happening, what people are saying, uh, what the news is reporting. Uh, he seems as if he is a man who is just so unbothered by the sanctions and all of the media uh, that is spinning this in the way that it is being spunt. Okay. Uh, anyway, I want you to all take a listen at take a listen at this quick report. Um, it's going to just kind of detail what I'm talking about here. Uh, where he is, he's unbothered. Look at him, he looks unbothered, right? Uh, he looks like he can care less what they are saying, that he is um, unmoved by the sanctions and that he doesn't feel that they have a leg to stand on. That's what it sounds like to me. Um, so anyway, take a listen at this report. It's going to detail some things that uh, they may not be talking much about, um, specifically why he felt the need. Uh, he felt like there was some U.S monkey business going on okay so he felt like there was a need for him to go um into ukraine uh for their protection uh, this is what he's talking about so take a listen at this report and i will be right back president vladimir putin warned the west on tuesday that attempts to isolate moscow would fail citing the success of the soviet space program as evidence that russia could achieve spectacular leaps forward in tough conditions Russia says it will never again depend on the West after the United States and its allies imposed crippling sanctions on it to punish Putin for his February 24 order for what he called a special military operation in Ukraine. 61 years to the day since the Soviet Union's Yuri Gagarin blasted off into the history books by becoming the first man in space, Putin traveled to the Vostokny Cosmodrome in Russia's Far East, 3,450 miles. 5,550 kilometers, east of Moscow. The sanctions were total, the isolation was complete, but the Soviet Union was still first in space, Putin said, according to Russian state television. We don't intend to be isolated, Putin said. It is impossible to severely isolate anyone in the modern world especially such a vast country as Russia. Russia's Cold War space successes such as Gagarin's flight and the 1957 launch of Sputnik 1, the first artificial satellite from Earth, have a particular pertinence for Russia, both events shocked the United States. The launch of Sputnik 1 prompted the United States to create NASA in a bid to catch up with Moscow. Putin says the special military operation in Ukraine is necessary because the United States was using Ukraine to threaten Russia including via the NATO military alliance and that Moscow had to defend Russian-speaking people in Ukraine from persecution. He said on Tuesday that the had no doubts Russia would achieve all of its objectives in Ukraine a conflict he cast as both inevitable and essential to defend Russia in the long term. Its goals are absolutely clear and noble, Putin said. It's clear that we didn't have a choice. It was the right decision. Ukrainian forces have mounted stiff resistance and the West has imposed sweeping sanctions on Russia in an effort to force it to withdraw its forces. Russia's economy is on track to contract by more than 10% in 2022, the biggest fall in gross domestic product since the years following the 1991 fall of the Soviet Union, former finance minister Alexei Kudrin said on Tuesday. Putin toured the spaceport in Russia's Far East with Belarusian President Alexander Lukashenko. Why on earth are we getting so worried about these sanctions? Lukashenko said, according to Russian state television. Lukashenko, who has a track record of sometimes saying things that appear to jar with his closest allies' stated positions on a range of issues, has insisted that Belarus must be involved in negotiations to resolve the conflict in Ukraine and has said that Belarus had been unfairly labeled an accomplice of the aggressor. Okay, so we know how the West does things. Um, they, if they want something, they, they will spin a narrative the way they want it to be spun to get people on their side, pretty much. Um, they use bully tactics. Yes, they do. Uh, but apparently, Russia is saying, look, you, you can't isolate us. Uh, they are saying, we don't depend on you. 
uh, you can't hold us back, uh, your sanctions aren't working. I mean, there are a number of different things going on here. Uh, we don't know all of the ins and outs of why this, this all is unfolding the way it is. But one thing for certain is you have uh, Western media um, who have spun this in a certain way, and Russia, um, in a sense, sounds like they're trying to they're trying to give you more details of what's going on from things that are being held back from Russia from from sorry I'm sorry from American media. American media they have to go according to the narrative that is pretty much presented to them and. They can't stray away from it. We have seen in the past where dozens of different newscasters will be saying the exact same words, reading the exact same script. You see, dozens. And you'll say, how is it possible that they're saying the same thing? This is because they are fully controlled, right? But when you look at Russian media, they are telling a whole different story than what Western media is telling. So if you want to um, have a more fair and balanced approach, approach to this thing, then you have to look at both sides. Look at Russian media, look at Western media, weigh it out, you make the choice, you see. But um, I do find it interesting that uh, Russia, he's, they're saying, look, we're big, we're too big for you to do what you're trying to do. You see, they're almost saying that we can't be bullied. That's what it sounds like to me. When you say Russia can't be isolated, Russia cannot be isolated, Russia does not depend on you and will not be held back. When you say that, you're saying you're too big to, to just do what you're saying you're going to do. You can say whatever, but saying and doing are two different things. <laughs> That's what it sounds like Vladimir Putin is saying to the West. That's what it sounds like he's saying. But um, anyway, uh, this war, um, I do feel, has been somewhat of a distraction from important things. This is why we talk about, you know, what's going on with the financial markets as well. Because all of this stuff, when you really look at it, um, it all goes hand in hand. Because they did try to point to this war as to one of the reasons why the economy is the way it is. And I said to myself, this economy, this, this economy was on its way down before this war. Don't even try it. Don't even try it. This is something uh, Biden was trying to push, a narrative he was trying to push. You can't push that narrative when everyone has already been experiencing this economic downturn before Vladimir Putin even decided to go into Ukraine. Keep that in mind when you're making your choices and choosing which sides you're gonna be on. Uh, for some of us, we are not on either side. You see, uh, many of us say this is their fight, this is between them and them. Nothing to do with us. But it's very important that we see how the media will manipulate and have you thinking the reason why your pockets are being touched is because of something that's happening somewhere else when Really, the truth of the matter is your pockets are being touched or have been touched because of what the West was already involved in, what they were already doing. That's my two cents um, in the comment section below. Remember to keep it tight and keep it right. But until next time. Be sure to ring the bell to be notified of new uploads on this channel and also comment, share, like, and subscribe.